Daniel Daly here. Tidy town people. Now, um, this is a, this is a sermon. Uh, we were um, given responsibility by God as a, as a race, a human race, to uh, rule the earth, to rule the planets, and to, to rule the animals. Sorry, well, I suppose theoretically, if we go off into space, to rule the planets, but uh, to rule the animals, and to be sovereign over mankind. And, uh, part of it was tilling the Garden of Eden. To, um, preserve, to use it properly for our use. Generally, um, as administrators of the earth, it's our responsibility, really, when it comes right down to it, to take care of our home, to take care of planet earth. And um, as cities develop, and cities are mentioned in the Rainbow Torah, Enoch built a city and named it after his son, and um, you know, we build cities and townships and villages and things. We build, build where humans congregate together and build dwelling places, an accumulation of dwelling places. And uh, you see it these days in third world countries, um, like places in Africa and places in Asia, and probably. The places here and there in Australia and things like that, but uh, in third world countries you see it a lot where there's people who live in, in uh, squalor, in poverty, and around their, their, along their streets it's really dirty and unclean and there's garbage everywhere. In the first world country, I think one of the thing we, things we learned a while ago was to clean it up to tidy it up. And um, a lot of the time, the government's not going to do it. Really, it's it's about a, a leader, male or female, taking the initiative and organising a team and cleaning up your neighbourhood. Being personally responsible for where you live and keeping where you live tidy. I mean, if everybody in the, the third world, all the people living along dismal streets, if everyone got it into their head to organise a team and to deal with this garbage and to clean it up and take it to the proper waste places, to deal with it and to do it voluntarily, at least it'd be clean in the end, wouldn't it? You might whinge and moan that the government should do it, but if you got off your asses and did it, at least it'd be clean and you'd have a more hygienic world and a better world to be part of. So personally, I think a Karite Noahide always has a, as a given responsibility to be a tidy town person. They should always, if, if their neighbourhoods are a bit scruffy, take it as a personal initiative to get up off the couch and go out and do some garbage picking up, garbage collecting themselves if a neighbourhood is not the best of looking neighbourhoods. It's up to you. Take it as a personal responsibility if the government won't do it, to keep your neighbourhood clean. Do it voluntarily. Don't gripe and whinge that you should be being paid for this. Get it done. You're far off, far better off in a cleaner society, in a cleaner suburb, in a cleaner town than in a dirty one. So obviously you've got to take care of your home first of all. And if, if you, your front of your house is looking a bit dank and horrible, clean it up, tidy it up, make it look presentable. It's a witness for one thing, and I suppose Kara and Oahides do have some sort of concern about our witness for our faith. But it's just a much nicer environment to be part of. So remember, part of being a car at Noahide is being a tidy town person and taking personal responsibility and using initiative when and if necessary to keep it clean.